If you're struggling with a register break, that little crack in your voice, and you feel as though you've tried everything to fix it and nothing has worked, I have a little exercise that we can use that you may not have tried before and that may do the trick for you. We're going to be using French nasal vowels. Un, un, un. Un as in fin, un as in dans, and un as in bon. What happens when we go through the passaggio is sometimes it actually helps if we allow that soft palate to lower and filter some air and resonance through the nasal cavity. That alleviates some of the pressure that we feel sort of mounting in the vocal tract. And that can actually make it much easier for us to move through the passaggio through that nasty break area. And then over time, we can kind of clean up that vowel and reduce some of the nasality in the tone. So we can do just about any kind of exercise. I like to use just a major triad or a slide up on a fifth, an interval of a fifth. a lot brassier and a lot more honky as I moved higher as I got to that point around that break I started just really letting things feel like they were sort of we'll say moving forward and that really helps a lot to again alleviate that pressure and get rid of that kind of wobbly cracking sort of spot in the range it's going to probably again sound a little bit weird in your head it's gonna sound thin because of that nasality that's present don't worry about that we're, we're focusing instead on function. Is the voice coordinating? Um, am I finding balance going through that part of my range? And I would encourage you to try all three of these vowel sounds, un, 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 and play around with it and see which one works best for you. You'll probably find that one works best and sometimes in different parts of the range we'll find that one of those sounds will work better than the other vowel sounds. So just explore the different sounds, all right? to let it get really kind of honky and nasalized. Don't be afraid to make those sounds, even though you've probably tried training yourself out of making those nasal tones. It can really feel very freeing, actually, when you start to do that and not be so tone conscious initially. And again, what we can do over time is we can kind of sort of reduce some of that nasality in the sound so that it's not so honky. But initially, you may need to sort of amp it up a little bit. So what I find is like, as I get higher in the scale, I need to go a lot brassier, a lot twangier, a lot honkier with it. Doesn't sound pretty at all, but it feels good and the voice is coordinating through that break area. And that's the important thing with this exercise. And again, over time, what we can do is we can gradually reduce some of that nasality in the tone until it starts to resemble an oral vowel. So that is a vowel that does not contain any nasality in the sound. And so let it move into head voice as well whenever you feel like it needs to move into head voice. But the idea here is to create a nice seamlessness without that break or that crack in the voice. So I hope you do really, really well with this. It might just be, I won't say a last ditch effort. It's actually a really great approach to managing this funky spot in our ranges and hopefully it helps you work through that break area in your range. Let me know how you do with this exercise, and if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to this channel so that the next time I post another video like this in which I share exercises, or the next time I share some training tips with you, you'll be notified. Thank you so much for watching today. You can love someone with all your for all the right reasons and in a moment they can choose to walk away I love them anyway <laughs>
Spanish. Do you speak any French? No, I do speak Spanish. That doesn't help us. Yeah, let it go through your nose. It's kind of hard to filter it through there. Yeah, see how it's that you're losing the nasality in there, right? Yeah. yeah, let it go. Ah, ah, ah. It's like when you go, eh, eh. That's what you're doing there. <laughs> it's going through both. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Good. Can we try all just for a second? You don't want to start way up there? <laughs> you can spend your whole life building something from nothing. One storm can come and blow it all away. Build it anyway. You can chase a dream. It seems so out of reach, and you know it might not ever come your way, your way, dream it anyway. God is, oh shoot, God is, oh no, my voice is blah today. Can you try that on the French nasal vowel? Try just the melody from there. depressurizing a little bit and you're not you're not here because you keep just falling back yeah. whenever whenever you get to those higher notes it just wants to pull back so you have to counter that you have to resist that because that's your tendency so now you have to find a different build a new habit yeah that works so yeah that's a that's a tool you can try when you're struggling with it they work well what was that it's very helpful the French vowels good yay yeah. All right. Um, oh, your verses sound beautiful, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. That second verse sounded lovely. It was just beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I've been really working on the low stuff, too, like really keeping that, like, twang right here, like keeping it consistent right there. I could hear, because normally it's so back and so darkened, and that sounded just perfect. It was perfect, and you have nice control. And when you when you did that French nasal vowel to set it up, yeah. that that do it anyway part sounds really nice. Thank you. It doesn't sound squeezed and pushed. Okay. Good. All right. Where do you want to go from? Okay. Oh, the last part. Let's give it a go this time. <laughs> That's the attitude. <laughs> Do it anyway. 
Yeah. Out throughout. That was so much more even. On stage, I'll do the French thing. Yeah, just just add have them add a couple bars in extra bars in there. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. I just need to set up my vocal track a little bit. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good. Try try just try the the French nasal vowel. When you're saying when I was it when I is that what the, the, the lyrics are? Okay, when I ah ah right, go to that ah kind of space there. When I pray, it doesn't always turn out like I think it should. Wow, that like French vowels did something. See, now you need to take French next year. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Use that. Really use that. And for now, stop and reset and then just, you know, do what you need to do to retrain your body to respond differently to those higher pitches. Because that's what we know we know with you is you tend to carry a lot of weight and really push. And then there's this flippy kind of thing going on and it gets rattly. And so, yeah, you do what you need to do to reset that. And I think this is those three exercises we did today are really good for Kind of helping you settle into a better balance good yeah it worked really well yeah i like it when you find that little pocket it works really well it sounds really nice it's practicing that nasal for now so i can get a feeling of everything forward so eventually the nasal will go away but the forwardness is there yeah well it's going away when you're singing the lyrics so you're practicing that but then you sing the lyrics and as long as you again you keep things kind of coordinated the same and just close off that nasal port, it's going to sit right where it needs to sit for any kind of heavy mixing or belting like that. It's going to sit perfectly. And it does. When you get it right, it's like, oh, that's it. But I do like the French nasals for you.